Hey everybody, this is Jan from LearnSolidWorks.com and today I will show you how to add perspective in SolidWorks. So first I want to explain to you what perspective means. Perspective is the way in which objects appear to the eye. So I will give you an example. Uh, like here, you can see here three cubes and they look very dynamical because the sides of the cubes um, are uh, going to one finishing point at the left and one finishing point at the right. So you can see the edges are going this way and this way, this way and this way. So all the points will go to one of the two finishing points that you can see here. So how can we add that effect in SolidWorks? Well, first I want to want to draw a, a cube uh, to show you the perspective. Select the front plane and go to the 2D sketch option. And we just draw our center rectangle. So we start at the middle, make a rectangle, add some dimensions to it. Let's say it's 80, and this side is uh, 70. Now we will add an extrude. Uh, we make it 60. Well, and we've now created our first rectangle. But as you can see here, it's not so dynamic like the example I just showed you. So how can we add the perspective? Well, it's actually quite easy. Just go to View, Display, and click at the Perspective button. As you can see now, we've added some dynamics perspective. We can also change the amount of perspective. If you want to modify this, just go to View, Modify, Perspective. And here at the left side you can see the observer position. We can change the number of perspective. So, if we change it to 3, you can see here there is um, less perspective as before. So how smaller the number, how bigger the perspective. So an observer position of 1 is uh, it's quite nice to get a uh, nice exciting perspective. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and visit LearnSolidWorks.com for more SolidWorks tips, tricks and tutorials. As you can see now, we've added some perspective. As you can see now, we've added some dynamics perspective.